I went to go see uh, my card reader, this amazing, um, he's really talented. Like if you, sorry, this is in my eye. Um, well, I think we just have to deal with it. The light. This amazing um, reader, he reads cards and I see him when I'm in Massachusetts, um, which I am right now. And uh, he's incredible. Anyway, yesterday he said something that I didn't know. Maybe you know this. I didn't know this. He said, because he knows a lot about the saints and he's um, very up to date on religion and uh, the prophets and the saints. And it's like, he is fascinating to listen to. Um, Anyway, and he said, do you know Sa Santa Claus was a mystic? And I was like, really? What do you mean? And he told me a little bit about it. And then I started to research it. And uh, so I just want to share it with you because I find it really fascinating because we have these, these, these traditions that, you know, we think don't really mean much, or we may think, or I think they don't mean much. Um, like Santa Claus and all of these incredible things that get passed down, dragons and fairies and unicorns. And these are like often very real beings and often very real, have very real stories. So the story that I read about uh, Santa Claus or St. Nicholas was, he was a man named St. Nicholas. I'm, if I get the timing wrong, please, ap I apologize. You can look it up but it looked like he was born 500 AD, I think, or BC, I think it was 80. Yeah, 80, um, after death. And he was born in Greece and his name was Nicholas and he was born to a very wealthy uh, Greek family. And as he started getting older, he started to see that there was a need and there was a need to, um, for the poor and to feed people and give people presents. And so he would dress up at night, hide, you know, hidden and give to the needy, just kind of like what Santa Claus has done, right? And he was very aligned with the Christian church. He was very aligned with um, the teachings of Jesus. And um, why he's a mystic is because he was definitely a very religious man, definitely very connected to um, his understanding of God and to Christianity. And from the stories I read, he actually was imprisoned and I believe killed by the king at that time who um, was persecuting Christians. So Santa Claus, it looks like Saint Nick was executed, but what made or put into prison or and to die. What made this story really interesting to me is that, you know, now we've dressed him up in a, you know, a suit with a what jolly red nose and a button nose and two eyes made, whatever. That's Frosty, sorry, that's Frosty. That's not Santa Claus. But we've dressed him up in, um, you know, this outfit and he's got the reindeer and he's got the elves. Um, and, and the heart of it is still there, right? Giving, um, being generous, Santa Claus, all he does all year long is think about ways to serve kids. But man, we've also like made him into like, are you naughty or nice? We've used Santa Claus, um, you know, in the past they've used Santa Claus. Do you wanna be a good girl or do you wanna be a bad girl? Do you wanna get toys or do you not wanna get toys? Are you getting the naughty list or the not naughty list? So this is the way that we've like manipulated these incredible teachers in history. Jesus is one of them. I mean, he is, you know, he, I truly believe Jesus walked this earth, he had amazing teachers and was a shaman and a mystic and a deep man of God. And how that the name has been it's just wild when you think about how we twist things throughout human history. But when we come down to it and we come down to the actual, like, what do these, these powerful things mean to, to us? And like, if we go back into their history, they're actually incredible, incredible. And then we can, if we could tap into the spirit, like the St. Nicholas spirit of giving and generosity and connection to the divine, that's, and that comes down to that too, right? The, the spirit of what 
we know as Christmas, those of you that celebrate Christmas, but the holidays has that entire feel to it. So just thought I'd pass a little bit of that on. Have an amazing, wonderful holiday. And um, it's not about, it's about getting and it's about receiving. It's about both. And those of you, we just had our three month class and there was a lot of interesting um, people coming up, like really seeing how sometimes it's hard to receive. So those of you that are big givers this year, are big givers this year, allow yourself to receive. Receive love, receive wealth, receive teachings, receive quiet, receive community, and to receive whatever it is that you want or need to receive. And in the spirit of St. Nicholas, who was a giver, he wouldn't be able to give if we didn't receive, right? So you get to give and receive. Have a beautiful holiday. My name is Beth Osmer, and I will see you on the next video.